How can technology be used successfully by both learners and teachers? How to develop students' 21st century skills? How to mainstream meaningful use of ICT in schools? The Pan-European iTech project, standing for Innovative Technologies for Engaging Classrooms, was created to address these key questions and to develop a sustainable model for educators to adopt advanced teaching approaches using current and emerging technologies. Created by European Schoolnet, with the support of 26 project partners, including research organizations, ICT providers and 14 education ministries, and funding of 9.45 million euros from the European Commission, the project was the largest initiative ever undertaken in Europe on the design of teaching and learning for the future classroom. Over 2,500 classrooms from across 20 European countries took part in the iTech School pilots from 2010 to 2014, testing a set of new pedagogical approaches combined with technological tools and resources. The main aim of iTech was to generate systematic and fundamental change through progressive adoption of innovative learning activities and not through radical technological advances. The ultimate goal of this approach is to better equip the young generation of Europe for the challenges of work and society through the 21st century. The iTech process can be explained through three stages. The first stage involves the creation of inspirational future classroom scenarios, which are narrative descriptions of learning and teaching situations, leading to a justifiable vision for innovation and advanced pedagogical practice, making effective use of ICT. In the second stage, the scenarios are used as an inspiration to teachers to collaboratively design novel and original learning activities that can be taken into practice by teachers. The learning activities are piloted and evaluated in the classroom in the third stage. Through this process, teachers have a chance to try out new and more advanced approaches to teach and to support learning, with the help of technology. The results found that both teachers and students gave an overwhelmingly positive response to the introduction of iTech's learning activities, which brought a beneficial and measurable impact to the classroom. A clear majority of the students surveyed agreed that there has been a positive impact on their 21st century skills, including problem-solving, critical thinking, collaboration, creativity, independent learning and ICT skills. Students also took on new roles in classes, becoming peer tutors, peer assessors, co-designers of their learning, and even teacher trainers. The involvement also impacted positively on student motivation to learn. The iTech process also delivered positive impacts on the teachers, including their enhanced digital competences and more advanced approaches to teaching, greater enthusiasm about their work, and more collaboration between teachers within and beyond schools. Overall, more than 80% of the teachers surveyed reported enhanced creativity skills and application of new approaches to assessment and teaching. Over 90% of teachers reported that they continued to use the iTech approach and recommend it to others, providing a great endorsement for the iTech achievements. The iTech methodology has been made available in the Future Classroom Toolkit, which is open to all actors in the educational sector. The toolkit includes five different tool sets guiding the users to follow the innovative learning design process in schools across Europe.